I am currently reading is The Pumpkin Spice Cafe by Lori Gilmore. So we will see how this one goes. I'm not even done with the first chapter yet. And the first sentence already had me hooked. The first sentence says, Jenny Ellis had never killed a man before, but tonight might be the night. Desperate times and all. She clutched the baseball bat tighter in her fist and crept down the rickety back staircase. And I'm like, wait, I thought I got a cute, fluffy romance. <laughs> Turns out she's hearing things at night. I am not even done with the first chapter and I'm already, it's so cute. I will insert a little picture of the, I don't know, it's not a description, but well, a description of the author or something, because it talks about Stars Hollow and Gilmore Girls, and I just, oh, I was meant to read this book now. I am really liking this book so far. Um, I am picturing, since it's a small town, I am picturing everything like I would if I was reading Stars Hollow. So they're at a town meeting right now and I'm just picturing the barn that Stars Hollow's town meetings are at. And it just, oh, it, 
it makes it so much funner to read. So much more fun to read. Funner. More fun? I don't know. But the mayor has these dreams that he uses to make decisions for the town. So let me, let me just, let me. Mayor Kelly stepped back toward the podium, ready to launch into the whole story of how he'd had a dream about becoming mayor of Dream Harbor exactly one year before he was elected and how he dreamt about this big ice storm before it happened and the time he knew the nursery school had electrical issues and the electrician said he prevented a fire by calling him in time. He's using dreams to make decisions. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, but for the people who have watched Gilmore Girls, could we honestly not see Taylor doing that? Like, I envision the mayor as Taylor. Taylor Dozy. And, mm hmm I could picture him doing that. Um, I don't know if it was in a previous clip, but this book is in dual point of view, which I absolutely love. Because then we get more of, like, his... I was about to say Luke's side. No, no. Logan's side. We get more of Logan's side. And he's a farmer. Um, yeah. I can't even begin to tell you how they meet because it is so weird but so cute at the same time. So you're going to have to read the book to find out how they meet. But... I keep wanting, I keep picturing Logan as Luke. I will insert pictures. And I keep picturing, what's her name? Jenny. I keep picturing her as like younger version of Lorelai. But this is so good so far. I'm only on chapter five, but I'm loving it so far. I can't wait to continue reading. Hazel as Miss Patty because she's currently trying to set everyone up with everyone and I feel like Miss Patty would do that in yeah Miss Patty did do that I think I don't know but she's Miss Patty I'm just comparing this to Gilmore Girls mm-hmm
If you didn't already want to pick up this book, you are going to. Logan has a rescue alpaca on his farm. Guess what his name is? It's Harry Styles. <laughs> I can't believe he has an alpaca named Harry Styles. So all you Harry Styles fans out there, alpaca on a farm. Who gets in everything he isn't supposed to. It's so good so far. I'm almost at the 100 page mark and I'm loving this book. that they finally kiss ignore my dog he's eating but I am currently on chapter 17 165 pages into it I'm hoping to read at least to 200 if not more today and then hopefully I can finish this book tomorrow okay so I am more than halfway through this is how much I have left, and I just had to tell you that Logan, our male main character, has, he rescues animals, and I'm going to read you off some of their names because it's, <laughs> this book is so cute, but, so, he names them, see if you can, if you can guess you know, the theme that's going on. But he has one named Taylor, Rihanna, Lizzo, Lady Gaga, Brittany, Selena, Harry Styles, Marley and Dylan, and I thought there was another one, but maybe not. Oh, but it's, he named them after pop stars. <laughs> And it is so stinking cute! I'm loving this book so much. I'm gonna try and hopefully finish it tonight. If I can, then I will definitely finish it tomorrow. And I have a feeling that this is going to be a five-star read for me because I just, I haven't been able to put this down and I've just been giggling like a freaking like, teenager over some of the things that happened in here between Logan and Jenny and it's it's so cute so if you haven't already pick this up it's the pumpkin spice law oh pumpkin spice cafe by Lori Gilmore 
I mean, there is going to be a second book. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll insert it. But it doesn't come out until August 2024, the paperback. And I literally cannot freaking wait. I think it follows the bookstore owner or the bakery person that's in this little town. And it is so cute. I hope she does a book for every, like, person that's in this little town because I can't get enough of how this small town is just so cute. They do so many little like fall festivals, like a, what was it, like a bake sale or something that I just read. I can't remember what it's called, but it is just so cute. I haven't already picked this book up. I think you'll really like it. So that's exciting. and they tell each other that they love each other it's so cute it's so cute i'm loving this book so far it is amazing okay so he's saying the reasons why he likes her and it goes like this I want the Jenny that almost decapitated me. I want the one who believes in ghosts, the one who talks to my chickens and runs through the rain to chase a farmer's market tent. I meant it the other night. I like you messy, Jenny. I like you every way. I like you in your buttoned up blouses talking at town meetings. I like you when your hair is spilling down around you and you're wearing that ratty old cardigan. I like wiping away your tears and your laugh is my favorite sound. <gasps> it's so cute. <laughs> I can't get enough of how cute this book is. Okay, so Logan has had like past trauma, so he doesn't want everyone to know his like relationship with Jenny. And he is like working to overcome that. And he walks out holding her in front of like everyone in her cafe. And I'm just like, oh, the secret's out. <laughs> and then he even, so he comes out, everyone's looking at them. And he's like, I love this woman. He announced gruffly, like he was expecting someone to fight him on it. The cafe went silent. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. It turns out they already knew because they're a gossipy town. And so when they started like, like figuring out something was happening, they were like, oh yeah, mm-hmm, that's what's happening. It is so cute. Okay, I'm on the last chapter before the epilogue and it's so cute. So he, they're talking and she says, well, nothing says I love you like installing new locks. And he's like, is that so? Anything that involves a toolbox, really. Fixing something, making something. Big, giant, I love you gestures. And he's like, wow, I had no idea. <laughs> so cute. So cute. So I'm going to go and finish the book because I literally only have like 10 pages left. Okay, I just finished this book. And yes, I was right. I gave this five stars. It is so 
so cute. Oh, it's so cute. So highly recommend if you like found family, if you like the grumpy sunshine trope, if you like a sexy farmer trope, <laughs> definitely then this is for you. Um, and this does have a um, happily ever after guaranteed. So, you know, they get together in the end and it's like, you know, perfect like fantasy happily ever after. And I just, oh, this book is so, so good, so good. And I loved it. So definitely, I recommend this book.